Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day... Day 22 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, no extra points. Uh, there's a, a deal, apparently. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I thought I clicked on it. Uh, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's farm. So today's farm is perfect squares. Um, I think the thing with me and this farm is that, and I'm not going to lie, I think I've solved this on the code like a couple of times already. Um, the first couple of times doing pretty naive e things. But, but I think, and eh, there's really no way to, uh, the, the, yeah, the thing that I don't like about this farm is that there really is no way to figure out, um, to kind of figure out what to do in general. Oh, wait, maybe phrase that a little bit better. There's really no way to figure out how to approach this problem in a close to optimal way. And what I was going to say is that, uh, and I, there is this, um, I, I believe it is called Lagrange, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm mixing, because it it's not something that I learned back in the day. It's something that I learned, I guess, in the last few years. And so I'm being old and not remembering things. But the, the, the important part, and I don't want to take advantage of it, is that it, um, that every every number can be represented as the sum of four squares. So that's basically the um, so that's basically the the core part, right? And it, there's really no way for you to know that. I think is you know if it's named after Lagrange or, or if, I don't even know if I, I'm pronouncing the name right, and or who, whomever it is named after, you know they got it named after them, right? So uh, so th if you didn't know that, uh, you know, there's really no way to kind of come with it. The way that I would think about it, the way that I would do it without it is with dynamic programming. Um, maybe some kind of recursion-y thing, but, but that's the way that I would think about approaching it. Um, but let's say I didn't know this thing, then it, you can kind of change it a little bit better, right? Um, and what I mean by that is that <clears throat> is that you know now we can have we basically have four cases right it is a perfect square it is the sum of two squares the sum of three squares or the sum of four squares right so I'm going to start out by just returning four and again uh, you know max is four squares right so yeah so and then now um, we can do some perfect square thing. Um, Uh, I don't know, right? if is it square root, I don't, I, I actually don't remember the math, the Python math library. The square root doesn't come up that much. Uh, okay, so does it return? Mm, okay, whatever. <clears throat> Let's say do, 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 the root is equal to the int of the so root. If r times r is equal to n, then, you know, it is one, right? Meaning that is a perfect square. Um. <clears throat> is there a way to do two squares? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just... Mm, I guess we can... I mean, you could do it with a for loop, and because you can do this in all one time, then this is just 10 to the fourth in the worst case, right? So we can definitely do that, and maybe I, I would just you know change it to uh, is square... Something like that. Mm, true, right? So if is square of n then we return one and then just something like if uh for i in range of from one to mm, I would, in theory n plus one but but you know you already went through all the squares so huh is this square root no hmm. i'm trying to think what the upper bound is whether it is square root or or um like over two or something right yeah, I mean, it should be the square root, right? Be just because, because if it's not, then by definition, it would have been on the subtraction end of that number or something like that. Let's just say plus two, because I'm, yeah, I don't know. Just because I'm off by one, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so, okay, and then i times i, uh, greater than n, then we break maybe as well. But basically, you have n minus i times i, so i is going to be a square. And then if it's square, 
then you return two, right? Um, three is probably gonna be the same. Ten to the fourth squares, or uh, ten to the fourth square is a little bit big, though. So, hmm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think it is what it is. I'm trying to think what is the cleanest way to do this. Is to be honest. Hmm. I mean, there are also like cheats with respect to like, you know, reusing the results, but I don't know. Let, let's just try something naive first and then we'll see if. Uh, this one is always like very weird to me for that reason. Um, well, I guess we don't need that. Yeah. Something like that, but I also, also honestly don't know if that's fast enough. Uh, let's actually put in the case then, right? That we worry about. Well, that might be a bad case because I think that's like a hundred square, right? So we have to find out what the um, mm, yeah, what, what like what an actual case that is bad is. Mm. So I guess, uh, let's see, right? So what is I'm just kind of backward figure it out, right? So ten thousand. So that means that oh, so that means that this is going to go a hundred, and this is going to be well, maybe that's okay. That's just linear, right? I, I think I did the math wrong because if or I, I was thinking the wrong math in my head that this is linear. But if this goes up to square root of n, and this goes up to square root of n, then it should be okay because then that's just n. But I, I don't know that I'm doing this right. So all right, let me just yolo submit it a little bit, and then kind of see. Um, oh, that looks good. Uh, but again, this relies on abusing the fact that we ha have at most four square. So I don't know how I feel about it. Apparently, it's very good, actually. Uh, how did I do it last time? Mm, dynamic programming. I, um. Oh, no, I didn't. I still relied on it, but then I just did. I guess this is actually about the same. I think the first time I did it, I did it with dynamic programming. Yeah, and this is dynamic programming. Mm. And this one is the slowest, <laughs> six seconds. So yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know how to do it without without relying on this fact. I mean, other than what you just saw the dynamic programming. So yeah, um, this is going to be O of N in the worst case, which is not linear, by the way, it's exponential because N is the number of input, or uh, N is this number, but n is represented by log n bits, so this is this o, o of n is going to be exponential. Um, but yeah, this is kind of. Let me see if I could find it. Uh, sum of four squares, like one. Two, okay. Yeah, so there is apparently a four square theorem by Lagrange. So I'm just gonna, you know, this is what you. Uh, where's my other? Oh, there we go. So yeah, so read up on this if you're really curious about the background. I think this is kind of a really bad problem, to be honest, for that reason. So I don't know. I don't really have anything to say about this one just because it's not that interesting for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm going to do one extra bonus question today just because this one is, as you can, I don't know, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not super happy about it. So, um, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.